Linda Holiday, and this week on Off the Field, we're talking with someone who's used to overcoming adversity. He was an undrafted rookie who eventually landed with the New England Patriots and went on to win three Super Bowls. During this time, he established a trust to benefit pediatric brain cancer research. Then, in an ironic twist of fate, he went on to wage his own battle to tackle cancer. I'm talking about legendary offensive lineman, Joe Andruzzi. Now, Joe, I just want to get started first with your football career. You started in high school, went on to college, and then played with the New England Patriots after five years, eventually earning three Super Bowl rings. Tell me a little bit about that experience. It's a great experience, you know, right on through high school to get to college. First started with the Green Bay Packers as an undrafted rookie free agent, then came to New England. Bill's first year, they saw something in me and I pushed to uh, get better each day. Quite a journey though then in five years, three Super Bowl rings. <laughs> I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> During your years as a New England Patriot, you became involved in the cancer charitable community. Back in 2001, we became friends with a young boy named C.J. Buckley and we became very close with C.J. and his family and unfortunately C.J. is not with us anymore. A year after, in honor of him, uh, my wife and I, along with the Buckley family, started the C.J. Buckley Fund for Brain Cancer Research at Children's Hospital. Now, 2007 is actually when you were diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's Burkitt's lymphoma disease. And to this day, you're cancer-free, but you underwent aggressive treatment at that time. And that's when both of you started the Joe Andruzzi Foundation. Burkitt's lymphoma is a very rare and aggressive form of cancer that doubles in size in 24 hours. Spent 50 plus days in the hospital, sometimes five to 10 days straight of chemo. And it basically knocked me down. Um, so when Joe was sick, watching him and, and going through our motions of, he's out of work. If we weren't fortunate, how would we be paying the bills? And I just started researching foundations to find out where that gap was that needed to be filled. And one of the big gaps was financial assistance to families. The uh, numbers are increasing on people-wise. The numbers are increasing on fundraising-wise. So it's, it's skyrocketing, and we're out there trying to help more and more people. Now you're receiving special honors for your work on and off the field at the YMCA 5th Annual Legends Ball. This is their integrative initiative program that they put out there for special needs children. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our man of the evening, Joe Andrews, I study special education, and these kids need every little bit that they can get. It seems to be getting bigger and bigger each year I'm coming. People are understanding what this is all about, and we want to move forward because the bottom line is every little bit helps. Switching gears for just a minute, you come from an Italian family, you said. Yes. So, do you have some good Italian recipes? Um, I mean, the Italian family, you live in the kitchen. It should be like the biggest room in the house. You're always in there, whether it's cooking, talking, something. That's why I enjoy it myself. Well, you two are quite a team with all your philanthropic work that you do, and we all appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 